It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuned into your feel good breakfast show express right here on SABC3. It is your Wednesday morning. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, in years gone by and up until today, a mark of success in troubled communities has been your ability to escape to a better life in the city or maybe the suburbs. And that's changing thanks to entrepreneurs from those particular areas reclaiming spaces for the community to enjoy a slice of everyday pleasures. And here's an example to really put a smile on your face this morning. In an area that is mostly known for crime and violence, Anissa Seal is bringing a new aroma and flavor to Bontehevel. And it is quickly becoming the in place to chill. I'm talking about her vet coffee shop. Here I am today to meet with Anissa Seal, the founder at her business, so we can hear more about it. Anissa, so great to meet you. Same here. Welcome to that coffee shop. Well, this is such a quaint coffee shop. I mean, you can see with the no Wi-Fi sign over there that's encouraging people to have an interactive and communal experience when they're here. But how did the idea to start this coffee shop come about? It's basically a passion of mine. I bake and sell cakes on, on a daily basis. The no Wi-Fi sign, it, it just popped up. I was having a seat in the coffee shop and I, I was just thinking, why use Wi-Fi? Why not interact with each other? And I just started scribbling. What is it exactly about your coffee shop that makes it so unique? Right, it's obviously the cakes. Also, we serve meals like a breakfast, lunch and dinner. And you can also get your lattes, cappuccinos, milkshakes, chocolate brownies. You can get all of those here. A year ago, mother of four, Anissa, started her baking business, That Cake Lady which met with such success that she opened that coffee shop and employed Tasneem Mohammed. Tasneem, what is it exactly that you do around here? I make the coffee, I'm the barista here. I'll put down to customers and assist the way I can. And I must say we do offer good for their money and we plate the food very nice. Because Nisa's about class, about style and elegant and she will tell us, no, not like that. She wants it that way and very overplating of food and it's just not paying for the food, it's like eating value for your money. I think the idea of having a coffee shop in Bonteville is a ludicrous idea. No one would ever think of doing it. But there was someone with a passion and a desire to do it. There was someone that saw the bigger picture of it. And I think the important thing about that bigger picture, that it's not just a place for people to come and eat and go. It is there for the community to enjoy. It is there to create local employment. It is there to create a space where people that don't have the opportunities to travel far out to go to places can, within their own community, enjoy the best cake, enjoy the best meals, enjoy the best milkshakes and coffee. Also supporting such a venture in supporting the community back to creating jobs, to creating opportunities, to creating awareness about a place. What makes it unique and special is that this is a lady from the Cape Flats that had a dream and she decided to step out and take the risk and open a coffee shop in our community, in Bontiavel. And motivating other entrepreneurs in Bontiavel to step out and create their own dreams. It's about you enjoying your meal. It's about a mother needing to feed a family. It's about creating jobs for these ladies. Residents no longer have to go to a mall to enjoy a good cup of coffee, some delicious cake or a light lunch. May this be the seed of a new can-do-in-the-community business culture in Bontehielville.